Well, I'm very excited. I'm here with Armando Aguilar. Yes. Did I pronounce that correctly? You did perfectly. Wow. perfectly. Are you Mexican? I should be. <laughs> <laughs> you eat tacos, right? So you're part yeah. Mexican already. I, I tan pretty good. You know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So talk to me, brother. So you tell me. What's going on? What are you doing? What is going on in your life that we can share with everyone out there? Well, I'm a motivational speaker for mental illness. Uh -huh. I help people that face the illness, but I also help family members to understand the illness and see how they can work together. Right. And then also we take them to a program, a personal development program, mm -hmm. where we also help them in so many different areas. And it's just about giving back, helping people, because the illness is such a big fear, right? Yeah. But the whole idea behind it is to learn how to live a stable life. Yeah. That's the thing behind it. And that's what I teach. But that is based on finding self-love again. Mm -hmm. If you don't have self-love, it's impossible to face anything. That's exactly right. And I just had Ida Green, the self-love doctor, up here just recently. Two seconds ago, right? She's still in my lines, right? <laughs> still in my project. <laughs> we'll separate these interviews out. They won't be right one after another. Exactly. And then our, my company is called Bipolar Depression Power, but our slogan is, don't just be a listener, be a voice. Because we want to give that community a voice. And we want to help minimize the stigma, even stop it, but we need to become a voice to do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, uh, quick question question. One of my favorite movies this year was The Accountant, which dealt with, with um, Asperger's and, 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 and that kind of, and all, all like that, that kind of stuff. It was pretty cool. I didn't know if you'd seen it or not. I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard a lot of good stuff from it. It's an excellent film. And it opens your eyes. I have several friends who have children who are autistic and you care about them and stuff. And it kind of opened my eyes to looking at it maybe from a different point of view. And it's a it's a hard pack, hard hitting film, but and that's one of the things that we that we help the family to because it's so hard to understand it, and more if you don't have the knowledge behind it, yeah. it's it's always a clashing, mm -hmm. clashing. So we try and avoid that and say, okay, how can we make this, right. you know what I mean, instead of clash. So let's tell everybody sort of the the uh, the pearls of wisdom about that you would in, give to a family, so, you know, the basic steps that you would. Head like, towards. A, like some tips? Yeah, tips. Okay, well, here's one tip that is very important. When the person's having a, a episode, right, mm -hmm. you got to understand that that person is not stable at that moment. You're the stable one. So when that person tells you negative things or argues with you, the question that you need to ask is, uh -huh. how can I help you? Instead of arguing back yeah. with them. Yeah, that's not right. That's not right. Exactly. Why did you tell me that? Yeah. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? It's just it's crazy. It's, oh, and what happens is this situation. Yeah. You're pushing and I'm yeah. pushing. We're yeah. pushing back. But if we turn around and say, hey, how could I help you? Now, I'm not saying that your feelings should not be valid. Right. I'm saying that that's not the moment to bring them up. Mm -hmm. What I recommend later is two or three days later, send them an email and say, you said these things, they really hurt me. Yeah. Where are they coming from? Did you really mean them? Because now you're gonna give that person the opportunity to consume it, analyze it, besides arguing back and forth with you. Wow. So, you know, that's a tip that I give the family, and if you can apply that, your relationship with that person is gonna completely change for you and for them. Wow, that's excellent. Armando, it was... Uh Pleasure Great to, to meet you. Doing yes. A bunch of things with you guys. Yes, I look forward to you guys. Yes. I'm going to close with my mantra, which means when you have love and peace, you can face anything. Thank you, guys. Much love. Much love. Thanks.